we understand there's homology that you've mentioned. We also know that there's genetic level homology, similar sequences between, let's say, us and a chimp. But if evolution's true and they're looking to mutational load, mutations build up in a neutral manner and they build up over hundreds of thousands to millions of years. And then they say, well, those mutations can act as a hidden reservoir, basically, for selection to act upon and drive evolutionary change combined with uh, beneficial mutations. But if that's true, wouldn't those mutations scramble a lot of these signatures of, of homology? I feel like homology makes more sense of, of a common designer, but if evolution is true, why do we have such a strong signal in terms of these similarities? You think those mutations over time would, would scramble a lot of those signatures? Uh, Don, what are your thoughts on that? Well, surely. In fact, um, you know, the fossil record would be filled with mistakes, mm. with mutations, if there was any truth to that. But it doesn't happen. You know, there's a whole world now of living fossils. These creatures we find that we thought were long gone and now we find them again. Uh, things like the, the ginkgo tree and, and such. They haven't changed at all. And uh, from the very start, we've had these designs. So there's not a whole track record of this whole lineage of um, errors and mutations leading up to what we have today. It's been, it's been well-designed from the very start. 